In this brief lecture, I want to talk about Tesla. Tesla is this exciting California uh, electric vehicle company run by Elon Musk. There's a lot of green buzz about its cars. Uh, very wealthy in Los Angeles are driving these around. And this is a new company who is now a publicly traded company. And there was recently a, an event uh, caught on, on video and spread around the world that one of its cars caught on fire. I want to talk about event studies and cause and effect. So we're going to be talking about Tesla's stock price dynamics in the aftermath of a recent fire. Should this matter? When should it just be laughed off as a fluke? So here is the video. Here is a website for you to read if this interests you of this recent fire. Uh, a Tesla car. I'm not an engineer, but you can see that I believe this is the actual car. I was not driving it. I've never been in a Tesla. This car is on fire. And there's a question. The question that emerged in everyone's minds is, are Tesla vehicles safe, these electric vehicles, relative to conventional vehicles? Many of us drive. I don't. But many people drive. But the opportunity cost for driving an electric vehicle Tesla is you could go back to a hybrid vehicle or back to a conventional vehicle. And safety is a paramount concern. The whole Volvo company is based on uh, offering more safety, a perception of safety, than other vehicles. So the question is, are a this fire occurred, was this a fluke or does this reveal something bigger about the risk of driving a Tesla? What is the risk of driving a Tesla? Since most of us have never driven one, how do you form an expectation of something you've never done? Uh, we basically, how does the law of large numbers hold? So in the case of plane crashes, we can estimate how often planes crash. The denominator is all flights that take off. The numerator is all flights that don't crash. The ratio of the two would represent the probability that you don't crash, and we can estimate that. There have been uh, millions, perhaps billions of flights and relatively few crashes. So what researchers do in stock price studies, it, many finance economists study uh, the percent changes in stock prices. So a percent changes if Facebook sells for 100 last week and now it sells for $112 per share, its price has jumped 12%. How do you explain that jump in the percentage? If you had known the price was going to jump, why didn't you buy a week ago? You would have earned 12% in a week, which is a wonderful rate of return. Under the efficient markets hypothesis, many finance nerds argue that stock prices move, either go up or down when there's new news. That new news, unanticipated news, is what moves asset prices. Because if you anticipated that the event was going to occur, why, why didn't you trade upon that already? And so the new news we're talking about in this brief video is this Tesla fire. When the fire occurs, would you predict that that will have any impact on Tesla's stock price? If people anticipate it that one out of uh, every thousand cars they sell catches on fire, then there's no new news when, the pr when a Tesla catches on fire. But as I'm, as I'm about to show you, Tesla's stock price fell sharply after the event. And there's a question, did Tesla's stock price overreact? Did the sellers of Tesla overreact to the news? What was going on? And for those of you seeking investment returns in this low interest rate environment, should you buy Tesla stock now? Is it now a good investment? So folks, here's some data from Yahoo Finance, and this is a graph of Tesla's stock price over the last month. So we go from September 4th, 2013 up through October 4th, 2013. Take a look at October 1st when the stock price was roughly at 195. When the fire occurred, the fire occurred right around there and the stock price fell from 195 to 173. So that's over a 20% decline uh, and I realize you shouldn't attribute all of the price decline to this event. But there, So there was a run up in price from September 17th till October 1st. And then during the window around that Tesla fire, the stock price fell sharply. There's a question of cause and effect. Are we holding all else constant? But in this simple video, I think it's okay for me to ascribe this change in the Tesla stock price, what you have to pay for a share of Tesla, declining from 193 to 173. How could it be the case that the stock price fell that much? So I think that my story here is a, and it's a counterfactual, if Ford 
Motor Company had a car catch on fire, I claimed that its stock price would barely budge relative to what happens to Tesla when their car catches on fire. So the question for finance analysts is what's the difference between the Tesla Motor Company and the Ford Motor Company? And I would say that Tesla's a new company with an unproven product that people have heard the buzz about these products, that it's a cool car, that Elon Musk is a genius, that electric vehicles are the future, but we have very little experience with it. And this means that any shock to the reputation of the product could have a razor's edge effect of people saying it's not safe and there being the perception, even if that's not true, that it's unsafe. So imagine a case when airplanes was a new technology and we had no experience in them. If there had been some famous pilot like Amila Earhart uh, and if she had crashed on national TV, if that scared everyone to never use the product, then that would have been quite a razor's edge result that we never used the airplane because we had this perception, even if it might have been false, that the product was unsafe. And so Elon Musk has been relying on buzz, celebrities driving his cars, uh, fancy people in L.A. driving them, lots of good buzz. He, the company got very tough with this John Broder when he made some complaints in the New York Times about the recharging of the vehicle. And this fire is another example of a shock to the product, which in one case could have been laughed off as a, as a fluke. But, a, but the, the, Tesla must be concerned that if it gets the perception that their vehicles are not safe, that they will lose sales. And if they lose sales, if there's the perception that they're, they're going to lose sales, that would be reflected in their stock price today because the stock price reflects the present discounted value of their future profit, and profit is a function of their sales. So a crucial issue here is has the population's perception of the quality of Teslas been impacted by a single one fire? Is In capitalism, are, is the perception of quality so fragile uh, in this connected internet world to single events? And if the answer is yes, it suggests we need for green products to succeed a little bit of luck. Because uh, the current products, the conventional cars, are dirtier than these electric vehicles. But if small negative shocks to electric vehicles can affect their perception of quality, then this razor's edge issue arises.